Chinese e-commerce company uh, Wunang Net uh, Technology making its public debut on Wednesday. And guess what? It closed up 440 percent. That was a one day gain. Uh, Jim Cramer tweeting, here's what we don't want. More effectively WNSW, which is the, the ticker symbol. Did anyone see that? What a joke. Where's the SEC on CBS? Joining us to discuss this and so much more in an exclusive interview. This may be the exit interview, but we're going to have him back, I hope, for a very long time after this. SEC Chairman Jay Clayton. Jay, it's great to see you. Um, we, let's start there. There's so much to talk about, but uh, it is uh, a remarkable thing. And we've seen this uh, not just yesterday, but to some degree with some of the IPOs even in the past week or two. What do you think is happening with the pricing and what are you thinking and the SEC thinking about it? Well, Andrew, thank you. Thanks for having me on. And uh, I do love it that uh, that Jim Cramer is provocative on these issues because he brings attention to them. Uh, look, let me start on the regulatory side and, and talking about something like this. The SEC, we regulate disclosure. We regulate trading. I heard you uh, I heard you mention about uh, some limit up uh, halts to give people a chance to pause and uh, think about the price rise in, in particular stocks. Um, we also regulate access to the markets. Who, who, who participates? Uh, you know, can retail participate uh, freely? We are in a situation where with mobile communications, um, access and the like, there is a new paradigm. There are more retail investors participating in the market um, than ever before. And we're seeing that. And one thing that we don't regulate um, directly, Andrew, is euphoria. Um, and we're seeing some euphoria here. I think I've heard other guests talk about euphoria. Um, you know, when stocks run away, um, like the ones you mentioned, we do get concerned because um, it, it, is a, it is a situation where uh, professional investors understand this. I do worry that retail investors, um, you know, do not understand that trees don't grow out of the sky. And as a function of that, what, what is, I mean, you said the SEC doesn't regulate euphoria, but what can it do or what should it be doing? Well, we do, like I said, we do regulate trading. We do regulate disclosure, ensuring that there's fair disclosure out there. Um, uh, we do regulate access. And when someone comes in through a broker or an investment advisor, that broker or investment advisor does owe them duties, uh, duties of care, uh, duties to understand the, their particular circumstances and recommend appropriate investments for um, that individual. That said, we do allow direct access to our markets for retail investors. Um, and in those situations, retail investors uh, have the ability to buy and sell as they as they please. That's a it is a hallmark of American society. We're trying to do the best we can to educate people about the risks of being in the market, particularly the risks of leverage, the risks of options. Um, but we we are in a stage where there is there's significant increased retail access. And, and then we can talk about the uh, if you want to, the, the pricing of IPOs and the challenges that that creates. But you know, I am focused on this this issue of uh, of retail euphoria. Well, let me follow up with them. Then one other question: Do you do you look at the advisors either to the on the corporate side, the investment banks that are working with these companies? You look at, uh, for example, and we talked to David Solomon about it. At Goldman they advised uh, on the IPO for for Airbnb. Is there just a mispricing here? In which case, is there something that? from either a regulatory perspective should be done or even an industry perspective should be done. Because to some degree, the service that some of these companies to some, you could argue that the service that they're buying, they're not getting. Well, let me, let me say this, Andrew, going back to my word of the day, euphoria, um, it, it, is, it is difficult to price uh, euphoria because you don't know what the level of euphoria is going to be in any particular name. Uh, you know, the, the IPO pricing process is, is one that is uh, fairly tried and true, and that um, you get indications of interest from uh, sophisticated investors. Uh, that's where you set the IPO price. Um, you then see the, the the market coming into the open. You set the opening price, and you know uh, I can tell you that people do not like to leave a tremendous amount of money on the table. That's not something right. um, that most people are in the business of Jim. doing. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.